Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. I'm not some artifact you can take back to your lab, Doctor. I... I am sorry, Commander. I did not mean it like that. I... I just... I am used to dealing with computers and data disks. I am not very good with people. I let my professional curiosity get the better of me. Please forgive me. Let us talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is trying to breed an army of Krogan. But we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of a hundred, maybe sixty have no effect. Thirty suffer adverse effects, little things like brain cancer. 
The other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my pass squared away. Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSAC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Captain Kirahi will be missed. But many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. 
Exo Presley has the deck. Ten hut! At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? We use our suit or uniform radios. Anyone who needs to talk to me keys into my line. It's as if they're next to me. Which only works so long as you all have working radios. Maybe your DC drill should include sign language. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! It also makes us the fastest ship in the fleet. Without the Tantalus core, Eden Prime would be a smoking crater right now. Eden Prime does have a smoking crater on it, Commander. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. I'm sorry you disapprove, sir. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I'll be sending my report and corrective recommendations to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard. Excellent. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. 
A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the Gen. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So, the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian Overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, Exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. I should go. See you later. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. 
My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules, c sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Don't get caught up in the details, Garrus. We'll find him and then we'll stop him. That's all you need to know. Good point. Thanks, Commander.
down. Going on. My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Stay put. I'll get those other torches offline as soon as I can. Thanks. I'll contact you when I can. Hey. Oh god. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? My shields took the hit. No damage done. I'm with the Alliance. Commander Shepard. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities, good schools. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Time's running short. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. If I run into your people, I'll do what I can. But the torches have to come first. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. You'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard.
nearby. Proceed on foot.
Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. Get her out of here!
Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. You keep listening to this Bollock and you'll end up dead. <laughs> Maybe. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises, for both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him, and so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock.
more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Balak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. You pulled away from the Council. What did you think would happen? We didn't pull away. We were forced out. And don't try to hide behind the Council. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes... You need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand. And I'm done wasting my breath. Now. If you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. You can go. But this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe. But I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. All targets down.
Forget it. Can you tell if the asteroid's stable? You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she alright? Is her team? Balak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? The Alliance has a whole navy full of people like me, waiting to take him down. We'll be watching. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. I could really use some light armor. I hope you get good use out of it. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. I can't believe you let Balak go. To save us. I half expected you to just let us die. Sacrifice the few for the many. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing, no matter what. I wish I could have saved him, too. It's not your fault. You did what you could. At least Aaron died in the place he loved. He was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Commander Shepard, with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. <laughs>